One of the most important lessons that you need to learn and a, a skill that you need to acquire with respect to watercolor is to be able to go light and dark using watercolor. So today we're going to talk about an exercise on how to go light and dark using watercolor uh, through the use of layers. So if you look up here, notice how we have a band of uh, basically rectangles going from light and then to dark. And then we have the same thing occurring with the red color as well as the yellow color. Now this is done through the use of what I call layering. And we'll talk about that a little bit more later. Uh, but I want you to notice, uh, number one, that we are going from light to dark. And at some point, you notice that with the yellow layer, right, there is a limit in terms of how dark that yellow can get. So your color will have certain limits. So yellow can go up to this dark. Your red can go a little bit darker, but it won't go as dark as your black. So with your black and darker colors, which will tend to be your blues and your purples, those will usually be able to go all the way from light to all the way from dark. With uh, your lighter colors, like your yellows, your oranges, um, in order for it to get to a value like this or this, you're going to need to add uh, additional colors. Uh, but for now, uh, it's enough to know that yellow and red and lighter colors will have its inherent limits. Now the other thing I want you to notice is when you compare the intensity of the colors, so, uh, so a color like this, this red here is a lot more intense, or another word to use, it's the saturation is a lot higher than say this red right here, which will tend to look more pastel-y. Same thing with the yellow here. This yellow looks more intense than the yellow over here. So when you add more layers, with each layer that you add, you make that color more and more intense, as well as more and more dark. So let's begin. Now if you look at my palette, notice how intense this yellow is. And the reason why that yellow is so intense is because there's so many layers of yellow uh, that's kind of pressed together to form this sort of yellow palette. Uh, the same thing with the red. That red is extremely intense, again, because there's so many layers of red that are kind of compressed together. So this is what we're talking about when we're using layers. Now for this exercise, uh, I will like to use a palette that's a little more separated. So, so here I have a section for my yellow and then a section, well, two sections for my red. This is to help me dilute that paint and then a section for my black. So those are the colors that we'll be using. I'll also have uh, tofu containers are great for storing water because of its low base. It's hard to kind of knock it off. And uh, I'll use uh, clean water for that. Uh, the reason why we want to use clean water for this exercise is because yellow is so um, is so easily kind of dirty. So we definitely want to keep the yellow part very clean. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and dip into my yellow. And now starting from right to left, I'm going to basically do a long swatch of yellow. And as I move towards uh, my left, I'm going to get add a little bit more water to it so that the yellow is a little more diluted and a little less intense. And then I'm going to leave a little area over on the left so that I can leave some of the white of the paper showing. So here's the white of the paper and here's my first layer. Now that's something to uh, think about. 
uh, in watercolor, your widest, your lightest value is actually going to be the paper. So, so if you need to, to use white, uh, if there's a section of your painting that you, where you need to add white, uh, then you you would be better served if you didn't paint that area because the paper will be the lightest value in your mix. I'm gonna spread this out a little bit more. Notice how much I'm diluting that paint. I'm going to remove some of this paint so that I can bring the water so I can bring the value of that that section a little bit lighter so your your towel is going to act as an eraser uh, it removes water from the brush and then the brush in turn removes a little bit of paint from the paper all right now let's do this for our darker area or black and again I'm starting from the the right side and moving towards the left now as I'm moving towards here remember I want to get it to to go a little bit lighter uh, I want it to look something like this where it's sort of lighter on the left darker on the right so to do that, I may need to dilute some of that paint. And by dilute, I mean uh, I'm going to add a lot more water and I'm going to use a lot less, less pigment, a lot less paint. So that's something that, that you will learn as you're using watercolor. If you want to go lighter in value, the way you do that is by adding more water and less paint. And what that does is it dilutes the paint so that there's less pigment. And when there's less pigment, uh, the value of that layer is going to be a lot lighter. So something like this. So this is my first layer, my first layer of paint. Uh, when I lock it down, what I mean is I'm going to dry this layer of paint so that it's harder to pick up when I go over it with a with another layer of paint. All right. So now that this paint is dry, it's basically been locked down. Now it doesn't mean that that paint won't pick up when you add another layer, uh, but if you're if you're careful and you don't kind of go back and forth, you probably won't pick up any more layers of paint, or you you won't pick up the layer that's underneath. So let's add a second layer to this. All right, so here's my second layer of paint. Notice that I'm stopping short of my first layer, so I'm giving a little, a little bit of space to create that little rectangle. And that's essentially how we're creating our, our little chart here. Uh, with, each, with each new uh, addition of paint, or each new layer, I'm gonna start, stop a little bit short so I can create these little, little squares. And notice with the red, I'm doing the same thing. I'm stopping short. And then let's do this with the black as well.
Okay, so I've just stopped a little bit short.